Introducing ZRAM. As process geometries continue to shrink, at every generation more die area is taken up by embedded memory. Embedded memory is generally either SRAM, which has high performance but takes significant die area, or DRAM, which is more area efficient but has lower performance and is more complicated to manufacture. So the choices are SRAM, fast but big, or DRAM, small but complex. How about a simple, elegant solution that combines the speed of SRAM with the density of DRAM? Introducing ZRAM. Innovative Silicon has created ZRAM, a zero capacitor DRAM. ZRAM starts with a DRAM memory cell and discards the difficult to fabricate capacitor, leaving only a single simple transistor. Here's an example of how ZRAM can be both smaller and faster. Let's compare it side by side with DRAM. To begin a read operation, the gate of the transistor is brought high, turning the transistor on and allowing current to flow. With DRAM, the charge on the capacitor flows through the transistor onto a bit line, slowly equalizing the voltages. As the bit line voltage climbs, it will eventually reach a point where the state of the memory cell can be detected. Contrast this to ZRAM, where the current is sourced directly from a power rail. Turning on the transistor causes a large current to flow onto the bit line, rapidly charging it and allowing the state of the memory cell to be quickly detected. At the end of the sense operation, the DRAM capacitor is discharged. Its memory state has been lost. Before the read operation can end, the voltage on the bit line must be raised to restore the charge on the capacitor. Reading a ZRAM memory cell is non-destructive. After the state of the memory cell has been detected, the transistor can be turned off and the read operation is over. The next memory operation can begin immediately. ZRAM, the new choice for embedded memory. One that offers the best of all previous technologies. Speed, density, simplicity. ZRAM by Innovative Silicon.